heaven, it shall not help them. After he said that, he went up to heaven on the, and sat on the right hand of majesty on high. After that, what's he doing now on the right hand side of God in, in Romans chapter 8, verse 34? Who is he that condemned it? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also does what? Maketh intercession for us. Do you remember, do you know that this year, as you go about doing the work of God and doing the will of God, Jesus will make intercession for you. The Lord will be praying for you. And because the Lord will be praying for you, all these signs and all these wonders and all these miracles that the Lord has promised, they will be yours in Jesus' name. You'll be serving the Lord, proclaiming his salvation. You'll be secured for life with those protective and preserve, preserving signs. Then you are saving the laws and the promised signs will be following after you in Jesus' name. This year, this is what the Lord has for us as we walk, as we go, as we move, as we go around in obedience to the great commission in Psalm 91. Psalm 91, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. And my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers. On thy wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. It shall not come nigh thee. As we live in obedience to his word, as we move in obedience to his word, as we go in obedience to his word this year, a thousand may fall at thy side, and ten thousand on thy right hand, it will not come near you. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, even the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any play come near thy dwelling. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. He shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against his stone, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, young lion, the young, the young lion, and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, when I deliver him, the Lord will deliver you. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and I will honor him. Tell me the rest. Can you say that again? Praise the Lord. With long life will he satisfy me. With long life will he satisfy me. With long life will he satisfy me, and he will show me his salvation. He will show you. With long life will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. This year the Lord is calling us to service. It's in that service we have a security. It's in that security we have the signs and wonders. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel, says the Lord. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord. Prepare yourself for the signs and the wonders that's coming upon you this year. The power that will flow, the glory that will come. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, this year, Lord, I know I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready, serving the Lord, serving the Lord, serving the Lord, proclaiming His salvation. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You commit your life to the Lord this year.
Commit your life to the Lord this year. Surrender your time. Surrender your skill. Surrender your ability to the Lord. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him. In His presence daily live. He has given us a great commission. Obedience brings blessing. Obedience brings miracle. Obedience will bring signs and wonders upon our lives. Go into all the world, in all your community, and preach the gospel. Everywhere you go, the community, everywhere you find people in your community, this is what the Lord Himself has commanded deliberately, wholeheartedly, sincerely. You yield your time. You yield yourself unto the Lord. And you say, Lord, here am I. Here am I. Here am I, Lord. Surrender yourself. This for every believer. It's not good for the apostles alone. It's not made for the prophets and the evangelists and the, and the teachers and the pastors alone. The believers were scattered abroad everywhere. And they went about preaching the gospel. Preaching Christ the Savior. As the Father has sent me, into the world, even so have I also sent them. The Father said, The Lord Jesus Christ to seek and to save that which was lost. In the same way, the Lord Jesus Christ has sent you. If you are born again, the Lord Jesus Christ has sent you. To go and seek and save those who are lost. And they went everywhere preaching the word. So they went. The Lord walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. The signs and the wonders, the miracles, supernatural, will follow those who go in obedience to the word. Preaching, declaring that Jesus is Savior. Don't close your mouth. Go tell them Jesus died for sinful man. Tell them he will save if they will repent and believe. Don't wait until somebody pushes you to do it. Give of yourself to the Lord, of your time to the Lord. Every believer is a real potential soul winner, a witness for the Lord. Necessity is laid upon every believer. To go out and preach the gospel. To go out and tell the lost how they can come home to the Father. Necessity is laid upon every child of God to declare how Jesus died for the world. That necessity is upon you. 
that necessity is upon your life. The signs and the wonders can only follow the people who take the word of the Lord seriously, courageously, firmly, and they go and do what the Lord has commissioned and called and commanded us to do. Seek the lost. Save the lost. Tell them of Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary. You don't have to perish in their sins. You don't have to be lost. You don't have to be condemned. We can tell them about Jesus who died for them on the cross of Calvary. And we tell them convincingly. And as we tell them convincingly, they will call on the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, Whosoever shall call. On the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Lord will save them when they believe. And they will believe if you tell them who to believe, what to believe. The early believers did not fail. They receive the gospel and they believe the gospel for personal benefit. They also proclaim the gospel for their neighbor's benefit. And you want to do the same. You want to proclaim that gospel, preach that gospel, declare that gospel for the benefit of all the people around you. Go into all the world and preach that gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Be a believer, be a believer, be a believer. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And if you are there, you have never given your life to the Lord, you can do it right now. You can do it right now. You hear the gospel. You surrender your heart, your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You believe on the Lord Jesus. Say, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. I believe he shed his blood for me. So that I will be saved. I believe he bore my punishment. I believe the Father has laid all my sin, all my iniquity upon the Lord Jesus Christ. He has taken all my sins away from me. He has laid it upon Christ. I believe. He that believeth and his baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. He that believeth not shall be damned. He, shall believe, he that believeth not shall be judged. In Jesus' name we pray. I thought you were saying New Year, Amen. I and the children whom the Lord has given me were for signs and wonders in this land. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, signs and wonders will come into your life. 
you'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Before that, now everybody is bowed and eyes closed. I want to give you a chance. This is a great chance for you to have eternal life, for you to be saved, so that you will not be that. Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be dead. You will not be among the dead. Yes, yeah. Father, nice close. It's very simple. It just to say, yes, Lord, I believe. The Father sent Jesus Christ to die for you on the cross of Calvary. And the moment you say, yes, Lord, I believe, he died for me. Then you are saved. Very simple. I pray nobody will reject this salvation. And you want to take that step of believing on the Lord Jesus Christ right now. You have never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And you want to be among the children of God that will be for service and wonders. You don't want any doubt, any shadow of doubt in your heart, in your mind. You want to say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Wherever you are, you just raise up your hand. I want to pray a special prayer with you. You want to say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Wave that hand at me. I want to look. God bless you. Thank you very much. Oh, one, where are you? You want to give that life to the Lord and you want to surrender that life right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anywhere outside. You're raising up your hands. You take your Bible from there and come to the front right here in front of me here. I want to show you. Something is going to happen to you. The peace of God will settle in your heart and all your sins, all the guilt, all the condemnation, everything will flee away. Today, a new change is coming. A new life is coming. Eternal life will come to everyone as you come. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Say, yes, Lord, I give my heart to the Lord today. My life to the Lord today. I'm surrendering my heart, my life to the Lord today. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. I'm waiting for every. You come to the front of all four here. Anyway, you are hearing my voice. Now you want to give your life to the Lord. Just come out of the crowd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come out of the crowd. Everyone, just come to the front here in hall four here. You are coming. You are, you are saying, Yes, Lord, I believe. He that believeth, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth, the doubters will not be saved. Those who are pulling back will not be saved. Those who deny the Lord will not be saved. And those who neglect to overlook the Lord will not be saved. And those who abandon the Lord will not be saved. But he that believeth, he that believeth, he that believeth, and is baptized shall be saved. Keep on coming wherever you are. Keep on coming wherever you are. We're over here in front of all four. Direct them, direct them over here. Here is where you want to come. Here is where you want to come. Every step you are taking like that as you are coming. You are saying, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Redeemer. Jesus is the one that died for me. And, and from today, I'm surrendering my life. I'm surrendering my will, everything I've got. I'm surrendering to the Lord Jesus Christ. I will not perish. I will not perish. I will not be damned. You are coming. You are coming. You are coming. Our pastors are coming with you because they want to be able to be a wall of security around you. And they want to be able to help you. And whatever questions they're asking you after the you are going to answer them and then because now you become part of the family of God we're still waiting, we're still waiting wherever you are, come and the Lord himself, the Lord himself, the Lord himself you have mercy upon you and forgive all your sins are you here already, are you here, please come, please come don't let the devil keep you back he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved he that believeth not shall be damned those of you in front of me as you have come, do you believe the Lord? I said to Sophia in front, do you believe? Do you believe? Say, I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe that Jesus took my sins away. I believe that as I come to Christ, I believe that as I come to Christ, He will not turn me away. I believe the salvation of Christ the salvation from Christ comes to me right now. Amen. Lay your hand on your chest and raise up the other hand as a sign of surrender to the Lord. 
You lay one hand on your chest and lay the other hand and raise the other hand up as a sign of surrender to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have declared the gospel that Jesus died for the sinner. And that you, Jesus Christ, you came so that as you shed your blood, you take her punishment away. All these have come believing, take their sins away. Take their punishment away. Take their condemnation away. That peace will come to their heart. Justification will come to them. They will never be the same again in Jesus' name. I pray right now as you give them the peace of believing, I pray their name will enter to the book of life. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See the headquarters church clapping like village church. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Now stay there when we're through. We're not through yet. When we're through, our pastors are going to, you know, talk with you and share with you. I'm telling you something great and something wonderful has happened to you today. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Now, believers, this is the year of signs and wonders. If you believe, you'll see the glory of God. In every house, in every family, signs and wonders. In every house, fellowship, signs and wonders. Every district, signs and wonders. Every zone, signs and wonders. Among our children, signs and wonders. Among our youth, signs and wonders. Among daddy and mommy in the family, signs and wonders. In the group, in the district, in the region, in the state, everywhere, signs and wonders in Jesus' name. And the reason for clapping will never stop in your life. Amen. Now what we are going to do, we are going to set you free now from every disease and every jam and every demon and every attack and every poverty. So that as you begin this wonderful year, you go with the freedom of the Lord. I am free. I am free. I am healed. I am delivered. And then I am protected. I am prospered. I am, I am blessed. You are going to find that this is going to be a different year. Because I believe. Because I believe. Because I believe. In Jesus' name we pray. I am the children whom the Lord has given me. We are poor. Why don't you raise up here for the sons and the wonders? Father, in the name of Jesus. We glorify you because of what you have said this year. It's going to be a year of signs and wonders. A year of miracle. A year of power. A year of the supernatural. And I pray you do it for everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray. Anyone sick there, I command that sickness. Vanish away in Jesus' name. Any mountain of incurable disease there, whatever the name of that incurable disease, the Lord has said, if we have faith and taken of mustard seed, we shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea. And that mountain has to obey. Whatever mountain of sickness is your body, I command right now, come out in Jesus' name. Any demonic affliction, any demonic attack.